So besides education by itself, uh huh, the good things which we kind of brought up, but the good thing about sending your kids to a school, uh-huh. whether it's public or Christian, uh huh, or a probably public school is the best one, is that they interact with people of all different types of backgrounds and religions. Yep. And with other children, the yep. people their age of all of those, you know, different backgrounds and sure. religions. And these children aren't people who are teaching it to them like it's fact. <laughs> right. Or, you know what I'm saying? Like, they're not the the curriculum. Right. The kids sure. aren't. So Sure. So if you're homeschooled, you know no one. And if you are Christian <laughs> school, you only hang out with Christians. Uh-huh. And if you're in public school, you're hanging out with everyone. Okay. So is that not a good thing about public school? Yeah, sure. Like, that's do a good you, thing. is that, would, because, because personally, mm-hmm. when I went to public school from Christian school, uh-huh. There was so much new information that I wasn't ready for. Right. <laughs> like, that I didn't know no, about. Sure. <laughs> like, like I just didn't know people lived these ways. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, sure. And, and that would have been, that would have been, it, it seems like it would, would have been helpful for me to have eased into that growing up with children like this. Okay. And to... I don't know, see the difference in my life versus how their life was sure. going based on our beliefs and stuff sure. like that. Like, like, what do you think of all that? No, I, I don't disagree with you in the sense of, I think that's actually really healthy okay. and important. And, and again, for us, the one thing we did was we made sure our kids were active in extracurricular activities that were not church related. Okay. So they were around kids mm-hmm. that weren't from their church, mm-hmm. you know, or not even you know, necessarily a Christian background, right? So they're playing soccer or baseball with just the county rec teams, Mm -hmm. you know, whatever it may be. And I think for us, that was really important. You know, my daughter does gymnastics. She does do, she does not do gymnastics at a Christian gymnastic place. Mm -hmm. And I think that's a important part for our kids to learn to dialogue and be around other kids that come from that have different backgrounds that don't look like them, that don't have the background that they do, that don't think the way they do, that have different family dynamics. Mm-hmm. You know, all of that I think is actually really healthy. So I don't disagree with you. When we made the decision to homeschool, that was the one thing I was concerned about. Okay. Was the interaction of the kids because I knew how important that was for me. Mm-hmm. And so one of the things that my wife and I agreed to was that if our kids are going to homeschool, they're going to be active in sports, in something mm. that's going to provide them an outlet to be around other kids and not just at church on Sunday and Wednesday nights. Um, so that was actually an important thing for me. Okay. Because I have I, I value the fact that I have friends that come from different socioeconomic backgrounds they're different race than i am Mm -hmm. like you know i i love the fact that i you know using diversity in in the most healthy way that i have a a, a diversity of friends Mm -hmm. and so i think that's very important for our kids as well i want that for our kids too you know um and so that was that was an important thing for us um to consider and and i'm i'm not going to sit here and say that it's as effective doing what I'm talking about as if you were in public school Monday through Friday with groups of kids from different backgrounds. But I do think the, I, what you're talking about is like kind of like that extreme sheltering of kids. Yes. And I think that is problematic because I think also parents have bought into the notion that ignorance equals innocence. Right, and, and I, I, I guess I would say I f- it feels like that was part of the goal with homeschooling. Yeah, and when that I, first started. Yeah, and I don't like for us, we don't want our kids to be ignorant. Right. Okay. We would because innocence is something you choose. I choose to live innocently. Mm. If I'm ignorant, I'm just ignorant, and like we mm-hmm. don't want our kids ignorant, you know. And so I want them, you know. 
But what if you're ignorant? <laughs> well, we're all ignorant of, of something. <laughs> <clears throat> but in terms they of they can being, only be as not ignorant as you, you are ignorant sure. if you shelter them <laughs> right and that's what we, we really did not want to shelter them that was i mean that really genuinely was a concern for me mm -hmm. and so i i am thankful for the for the kids that that has that my kids have been able to connect with do things with play with hang out with that are not always from the same circles, mm -hmm. you know, um, and so that that maybe we would run in normally. Um, and so anyway, I think that's just one of those one of the things that and again, I, I do think the even the, the, the massive co-op group we're around provides a, 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 a large variety. In other words, it's not just all not all white kids, mm -hmm. right? Not all, you know, um, I mean. Christian whiteies. Yeah, that's not like it's diverse, mm -hmm. and and the socioeconomic is really diverse. I mean, you have some people living paycheck to paycheck, and others that are just you know have just incredible wealth. And so um, I think, and I, so I do think having all those kids kind of mixed together is actually really good. And and I'm thankful for the for the other avenues my kids have, you know, where they get to interact with people. So. Because okay. I don't want them to be ignorant, so I'm getting to. Yeah, I don't want them to be ignorant as much as we can help them. We want. I mean, we're very honest in talking about things, you know. So, um, you know, we <laughs> if it, if if it can be talked about, we try to talk about it.